Hello everybody, it's Techno here. Today I'm going to show you every method of finding the Razor Fang to evolve your Gligar in Pokemon Black and White. You can start off by visiting Black City or White Forest. Both locations are in the same spot, depending on the version of game you're playing. It doesn't matter though, because you need to make your way into Route 14. But before you do that, make sure you bring a Pokemon that can use Surf and Waterfall outside of battle. Once you have that, then we're good to go. Now, again, Black City or White Forest might look different for you depending on how far you are in the game or which version you're playing. But regardless, from the Pokemon Center, you just want to follow the main path through the gate in the upper right-hand corner. This will lead you into Route 14. Once you're getting Route 14, follow the road down the largest staircase, and eventually you'll find a bridge over here with a black belt standing on it. Go ahead and surf in this river to the left and use Waterfall to climb this waterfall, and then Waterfall to climb the next waterfall. Once you're up here at the, so at the top here, go ahead and walk past uh, this section and the hiker over here. You can surf into the same river but on the other side. And this time we're going to surf down the waterfall and you'll find an entrance to a very hidden location called the Abundant Shrine. It's a very cool hidden post-game location here. Once you enter, you'll see that this place is kind of like a maze. So luckily you have me here to guide you through it. Just kind of edge your way around this tilled land, and by this running youngster over here, you can pass him, uh, try not to get trapped in behind him, and then just keep going to the left. Uh, don't go up this staircase over here in this little nook. You'll find a razor fang. Now, if it's not there, first of all, I'm sorry you made your way this entire way over here to be disappointed, but luckily for you, there is an infinitely repeatable method, and that is by visiting Lacunosa Town, again, also in the post game. From the Pokemon Center here, make your way to the right into Route 13, and from here you can go down into a four-way intersection, and once you're here at this four-way intersection, feel free to make a left, go down this large staircase, make a sharp U-turn, and go under this bridge. Once you're over here, follow the skinny sandy bank all the way down until you spot a parasol lady. Once you see her, go ahead and make a sharp left over here and you'll find a guy with a tuxedo here on the beach. Go ahead and save your game before you speak to him. That's because this guy has a gift for you. It's a one random gift out of a pool of 27 items once per day. If you speak to him and get an item you don't like, like the blue flute for instance, you can soft reset your game. And since we saved right in front of him, you can try again and this time it's going to be something different. If you saved after you spoke to him, don't worry, just try again tomorrow and then make sure to save in front of him that time. This is infinitely repeatable. You can get as many Razor Fang as you like from this. And that's pretty much it, guys. It's every method of finding the Razor Fang in Pokemon Black and White. If you're interested in more free of fluff video guides like this one, go ahead and click the playlist that's on screen now. I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, Techno's out.